So, Dr. Richard Scott, Clinical Director of Genomics England. Can you describe genomics in one sentence? So to, to go back to basics, your genome is something all of us have, and it is the, the three billion letters of the DNA code. And genomics is the study of that, and we at Genomics England use cutting-edge genomics, that science, to bring, enable the best healthcare for people. Tell, uh, tell us how genomics can be used to tackle COVID-19. So when COVID first hit, we didn't know what to expect. We didn't know who would be most severely affected. And, and already we can see quite a few different patterns. People who are older, people who have other diseases are, are more likely to be severely affected. And what we're doing is looking into people's genomes, looking at their DNA code. Why do some people get severe disease? But by doing that, we'll be able to, for example, predict better who is at high risk. So will you get to the point where for two people of the same age, the same sex, essentially the same broad medical history, you know, maybe the same weight, that you'll be able to predict that one's more likely or, or not to suffer badly. Yes, we hope so. So at the moment we, we don't know and what the what we hope to be able to see from this, this study and that's why doing work like this is so important is as you say adding in the genomics to a, a risk prediction which might help for individuals but it also might help more generally across um, across multiple people. Can we tell if people are more likely or less likely to get COVID or is it just about how they suffer if they get COVID? We think we'll be able to see, see both and we're also really? looking, we're looking to, to answer that question as well. We're focused more um, specifically on people getting really severe disease because that has a, a bigger health impact, uh, but it, we will be able to see both. And is anybody else around the world doing this sort of work? No one on, on this scale or using the technology that we're using, which reads across the whole genome rather than looking much more um, uh, superficially at it. And, and you mentioned the vaccine. So what impact can this have on the development of a vaccine? So understanding people's response and who gets um, uh, more mild disease, who ends up with more severe disease, um, might help us to understand what sorts of vaccines are working better in certain people or how to design uh, vaccines that, that work more effectively. Thank you very much indeed. All done, there you go. Didn't even feel it. <laughs>